if I could go back in life and do things over again, if I had a, a do-over, if I had a mulligan, the one mulligan that I would take, and I would take it without hesitation in the do-over I would do, I would, I would play with fewer than 18 skaters on the roster as opposed to have brought Sven in when he was in Portland and still a junior player for those five games. Uh, Sven's performance at that time, I think it just created such sky-high expectations. And that's both externally and internally. I, I believe that internally, we, we're so anxious for the next one. We're so anxious for the next face-out. And, and I think it's hard. It's, I've said this the other day, it's a hard league. This kid is a gifted kid who left home at an early age to make a point and get, get to a better hockey level. And all I've seen so far is flashes of brilliance. And flashes of brilliance are fine if you're working in a university, but they're not much good to people in an NHL building. So he's got to learn to play. There's three zones in this, on the ice surface in this league. I don't see that he's learned to play and compete in two of them. He's got to learn there's a clock in this league and that there's so many minutes in the game and you've got to compete through all of them. Uh, and I see that this guy right now is focusing on one area and even then sporadically. So I don't know what we have. I'm not ready to quit on a young kid, and I'm not ready to throw him under the bus here today and, and rip him. But I think you can tell from my comments that I see big holes, and I see a lack of commitment that's not going to get him anywhere in my books. But I've seen kids that age with those holes that turn into players. When he was really focused, Bob had created a, a very tight working plan for him as far as his day-to-day -day preparation and focus. And it was during that time period that he recorded points in, I think it was seven straight games. In fact, I think the only rookie last season in the truncated season to record points in seven straight games. Sven is still very much a work in progress. There are times when you watch Sven and you say, boy, that's so exciting. And you, you, you smile with anticipation about what could be. And then there are other times, and I think Brian's right, when you look in the other two zones, and you say, oh boy, we need to work on that. That's something that we have to correct, we have to fix. He's still trying to figure out how to be a pro, how to be a good pro, how to prepare every day. Candidly, he's still trying to figure out how to talk to the media every day. He's trying to figure out how to handle those expectations. The great part about Sven is he's a young kid. And, and I've met with Sven uh, just recently, in fact, over the weekend. And I told him, I said, we're going to help you. You need to trust us. You need to, you need to do the things that the coaches are asking you to do. But we're going to get through this together. He does start with us right now because we feel that, given a lot of different things, he, he deserves to be here. Uh, depending upon Mike Camilleri's status and how long Cammy's going to be out, we need the kind of skill that Sven brings in terms of the top six forwards. And, and so he's here for now, and we're going to continue to work with him. We still think he's a top end prospect. But again, if I could do one thing over, I wouldn't have brought him in because then I don't think we create the same kind of expectations internally, externally, and even for himself. I, I think that that experience back when he was in junior and you come in and you do as well as he did, I, I think you start to believe that I, I come in with a cape on and there's an S on my chest instead of a flaming C. And so we, we still love him, but there's a lot of work to be done for him and us.